Welcome to another episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. In this episode, we're going to show you how to deliver assets and stock from the Hardcat Purchasing Module. To access our Hardcat Purchasing Module, we can go via the Purchasing icon or via Lists Purchase Orders. To deliver assets associated or to deliver stock associated to a purchase order, we first of all have to select our confirmed purchase order. With our purchase order now confirmed, we can click on the Deliver button. By clicking on the Deliver button, our goods received for purchase order selected. What we can do from here now is based around the selected line entries, we can specify the delivery date, we can specify how many units were delivered based around that line entry. The line currently selected, we have three Compact Desk Pro 5133 workstation PCs. If all three were delivered, we could say all delivered. As it then goes through, it then will ask us the information to say, hey, this is a new asset, we're going to create asset one of three. If I click create asset now, it won't let me do that because I had the option to say require serial number. So what we'll be doing here is updating the barcode with the barcode that we'll be applying to the asset and then entering the serial number of the asset. From here we can go through and update our description, change our location and create the asset straight away. Alternatively, if there's more information we need to capture, we can go create and edit details. This has now taken us to the full asset edit screen where we can go through and apply extra asset information such as default location, a person, check the finance information, look at our presets and update presets if required, upload any files, check our maintenance information, complete any parent-child relationships if required. And from there we can press OK to save. That has now created the first of three assets. From here we can now go and enter in our information for our asset number two where we can either click the create net details or just the create asset which creates it directly into the system and create asset for the third one. Because I clicked on all items delivered it's now asking me to receipt the stock items as well but I won't do that for now. So as I said here we've created now our three PCs and we've also included our five PC installation services. As only three of, the, three of the PCs were delivered, we can reverse two of them. Which means now we've had three PCs delivered and three installation services delivered against that particular purchase order. The other method of delivery for a hardcat is based around the hardcat cat scan functionality. The cat scan purchasing functionality allows us to receipt assets within the hardcat cat scan function. To access it, we first of all have to load our CAT scan device with new data, as I've already done, then go to the purchasing module, purchase orders. Once you open up your purchase order list, you're presented then with a list of all purchase orders in the system that have undelivered items associated to them. The purchase order we're looking at today is purchase order number 23 for mega computers. To open up our purchase order, we can simply double click on that entry. What we're then presented with is a list of undelivered items, the two PCs, two installation services, and five PC power cables. The other tabs show us the items that have already been delivered. For example, Assets tab, we have three PCs delivered. Stock, no assets delivered yet, and under the None section are three installation services, as none are items that are not being created in Hardcat, just being recorded as being delivered. If we now want to receipt the final assets into Hardcat, we can now select the item that we want to receipt, click on how many items we want to be delivered, noting the delivery date, and then clicking the Units Delivered button. Just like Hardcat, we're now going to be setting the barcode and serial number. From here, we can press Create Asset. And in this Asset 1 of 1, and now we'll be completing this for Asset 2 of 2, because this is the second PC being delivered. We can now press Create Asset to create that record. Now on our Assets tab, we can now see all five of our PCs have been delivered. Back to our undelivered items, we can now deliver our two PC installation services if they have now been complete. And we can now also deliver our five PC power cables as they have been delivered as well. Now our undelivered order listing is blank. Our Assets tab has our five assets. Our stock has our line entry recording our five cables and our none tab has recorded our five installation service records. We can now press exit to revert back to our list of purchase orders. As we can see now, purchase order 23 is not shown as it is fully delivered, but if we click on show all, 
we can see it again as it is a fully delivered item. If we were to reload data to CAT scan for the purchasing order, item order number 23 would not be included as that is now fully delivered. Now that the CAT scan files have been processed into Hardcat, we can now review our purchase order again to review the delivery details. By opening up our purchase order, we click on the details tab and see now this status for delivery is fully delivered. We can now click on the deliver button on this purchase order to see that all these items have been fully delivered. We can also now double click on the particular records to look at the history of it. As we can see, this one here was created via purchase order. This one at the bottom was created via CAT scan. So we know exactly which method that this asset was created by. We can also now check to see our power cables and we can check our service to make sure that both have been created as well. For fixed reports in Hardcat around delivery, we can click on fixed reports and we have our overdue or undelivered items report. For that one, we can click on that and go view and this will then give us a list of all the items which were still yet to be delivered, broken down by order number. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. If you have any questions about how to deliver items against a purchase order, please contact the Hardcat help team or Hardcat sales at sales at hardcat.com or visit our website www.hardcat.com. Thanks for watching.